everyone, we're going to go ahead and review um, plotting points and also learn about the characteristics of a graph, such as maximum and minimums and x and y intercepts. To review for plotting points, this line right here is called the x-axis. This line right here is called the y-axis. The point in the middle we call 0, 0, or the origin. If we start in the middle at 0, 0 and travel right, those are positive values. If we travel left from the center, those are negative. Up is positive, down is negative. Ordered pairs are representations of points. Every point can be represented by an x and a y. The first number is x, or the left and right direction, or horizontal. The second number is y, which is up and down, or vertical. If we were to practice plotting and labeling these points, negative 5, 0 means I travel left 5 and then I stop. I don't move up or down. So there's our point negative 5, 0. 2, 0 means I travel right 2 and I don't move up or down, just 2, 0. Negative 3, negative 4 means left 3, down 4. Left 3, down 4. And there's our point. 1, negative 2 means right 1, down 2. Right 1, down 2. 4, 5 means right 4, up 5. So these are all of our points that we're going to practice plotting and labeling. If we want to think about maximum and minimum, what words come to mind when you think of maximum? You might think of highest, most, biggest, or greatest. For minimum, you might think of lowest, least, fewest, smallest. In graphs, maximum is the highest point on the graph. So the minimum is the lowest point on the graph. If we look at this image, the highest point on this graph is right here. We call that our maximum, or for short, our max. The lowest point on the graph is here, our minimum, or our smallest value, lowest point. So our maximum is the point negative 1, 3, and our minimum is the point 2, negative 2. If we want to look at our maximum and minimum here, the highest point is right here, and we label that as negative 5, 3. The lowest point is here, and that's negative 2, negative 3. We can also have a graph with arrows. In this case, we have no maximum because it goes up forever and ever. In this case, we also have no minimum because it goes down forever and ever. So looking at this graph, the maximum remembers the highest point on the graph. So if we look at this, that's the highest value. So the maximum is at 3, 5. Similarly, the minimum is the lowest point on the graph. So if we look at this, there's an arrow. There's no minimum. We say minimum, none. It goes down forever. And it is traveling left as well, but it's also going down forever. If we look at this graph here, the highest point on the graph is right here. That is the point 3, 1. The lowest point on the graph we don't have any because that's going down and down forever. That is none. There's no minimum. Next, we're going to take a look at x and y intercepts. The x intercept is where we cross or touch the x axis. This point in red is the point 3, 0. So x intercepts, we have a number, comma, 0. The number is in the x spot. The y intercept is 0, 4 in this case. It's where we cross or touch the y-axis. So for the y-intercept, we have 0, comma, a number. The number's in the, the y position. If we look at some more examples of x-intercepts, remember it's the point where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis. It crosses at negative 2, so we say negative 2, 0, or x equals negative 2. The y-intercept is where the point where the graph crosses or touches the y-axis. So here it crosses the y-axis at 0, 3, or y equals 3. On this graph, we have the x-intercept at negative 1, 0, and the y-intercept at 0, negative 2. On this one, we have the x-intercept at 2, 0, and the y-intercept at 0, negative 1. To review the terms that we're looking at today, the maximum is the highest point on the graph. The minimum is the lowest point on the graph. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses or touches the y-axis. 
and the x-intercept is the point or points where the graph crosses or touches the x-axis. Now you may go ahead and complete the Schoology assignment and take that as many times as you'd like and ask us if you have any questions.